Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply cinnamon powder both the dry and the wet method. Now in the first uh, example, I'm going to show you how to apply uh, the dry cinnamon powder. Now this is just for a uh, precautionary method. Like as I said, you can do this once in three weeks or once in four weeks. Just in case if you happen to see ants around in your pots or in your garden, uh, even if you do not see ants, it's always better to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon powder in your succulents. This will help to deter and uh, repel ants or any other pests in your uh, succulent pot. So all you have to do is very gently, just a little bit like this. Just put it on the edges of your succulent pot. Not much, just a little bit is fine. And then you can just take a stick and just mix it into the soil like this and you are good to go so as you can see this is pretty simple and you can do this once in three weeks as i said or uh, probably once in uh, four weeks just mix it up and this is the uh, dry formula that you can try and then just mix your upper layer of soil because you do not want the cinnamon powder to fly off you want it to be inside the soil so once you're going to do this the cinnamon powder is going to be inside the soil now after this you can either water uh, there is no harm in watering you can water your uh, succulents you can leave it as it is you can do it anytime uh, once in three weeks once in four weeks and this will uh, i wouldn't say this will completely solve your problem but at least it is going to give you a helping hand because cinnamon powder is known to have a lot of anti-fungal properties apart from that it's also known to uh, repel a lot of insects and they do not like that pungent smell of cinnamon powder so in this way, you can take this small little precaution uh, against insects, bugs, pests, fungus, mold, etc. Now, the second example is when you tend to see that there are some mealy bugs. As you can see, this is why I hate keeping bloom stalk. This is a bloom stalk that is just about to come up. And you can see it's already affected with uh, mealy bugs. The rest of the succulent is all good. But this part, they are completely covering up the... Uh, bloom area with mealy bugs it's getting completely covered with a mealy bugs so in this case what you can do is just take a little bit of cinnamon powder and just take the dry powder and just sprinkle it on the affected area you can even sprinkle it on the entire succulent but always remember that the succulent has to be dry there should not be any form of uh, moisture or any liquid on the succulent otherwise the cinnamon powder will get uh, stuck to it it will turn into clumps and it is going to get stuck to the leaves and it will be very difficult to get rid of it so ensure that you completely you make sure that your succulent is dry completely you can sprinkle it all over the succulent even on the soil as well this is something that I call it as a cinnamon bath. So you can see the succulent is completely covered with cinnamon powder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the succulent aside. Uh, the cinnamon powder is going to stay on the succulent for another 30 to 45 minutes. The succulent is going to be kept in indirect bright light. Do not expose the succulent to direct sunlight when you are putting the cinnamon powder. Otherwise the leaves will get burnt. Uh, cinnamon powder is dry even then it can still burn the succulent if it is going to be kept in direct sunlight not even morning sunlight just keep it in indirect bright light for 30 to 45 minutes and it should do the work we're going to wait and then once after 30 to 45 minutes i will blow off all the cinnamon powder uh, if it falls into the soil it's absolutely fine no worries but uh, if there are a lot of bugs then ensure that you take this succulent pot away from your garden and then blow off because within some time uh, the cinnamon powder is going to loosen all the mealy bugs they do not like the smell it will start running around and in that is the time when we are going to blow off the cinnamon powder and with that even the mealy bugs are going to get uh, detached from the succulent so i'm going to leave it aside and i'm going to show it to you in a while so those were the two dry method that you can work with uh, applying the cinnamon powder in the dry form. Now the next method is by applying it in the wet form or with water. All you need to do is just take some water, take the cinnamon powder and just add it into 
or glass of water or whatever you can now always remember do not use cinnamon powder in a spray bottle because uh, it will clog the nozzle of the spray bottle and it is going to completely spoil your spray bottle so always ensure that you put it like this in a jar uh, do not use uh, the cinnamon powder in this bottle as well because uh, the cinnamon powder will clog this nozzle and the entire bottle is going to go for a toss so don't use it you all you have to do is just use it in a bot in a glass jar like this now the issue with cinnamon powder is it's going to take a while for it to mix with water uh, it takes a lot of efforts to mix it that's why i usually prefer to use it in uh, the dry form but this tends to work out really well especially if there are any root mealy bugs uh, this tends to work out really well because uh, the roots will start absorbing the water which is mixed with cinnamon powder and they do not like the smell so they uh, tend to get irritated with the cinnamon powder in the soil now again uh, it's not 100% sure that all the mealy bugs are going to get uh, away from the root area uh, because a lot of times the only way to uh, solve the problem of root mealy bugs is by cutting off the stem that is one of the option because what happens is you might have seen the video i'll again put the link in the description below you can check how the mealy bugs they tend to enter they tend to bite through the stem and get into the stem inside the root area it becomes very difficult but this is one of the precautionary way that you can do uh, at times you tend to see a white fungus that tends to grow on the roots at times when you uproot your succulent you see this white powdery uh, growth in the roots and this is going to help it uh, with this uh, mixing like this so now you can see majority of the cinnamon powder is uh, diluted in this jar of water but you can still see there are a lot of these particles this is what tends to clog the uh, bottle so you have to be extremely careful so now that we are completely done with this all you have to do is just take your succulent and just add it around it and you have to be careful that you do not drop it on the succulent now you can take any bottle anything to add this and that's it so you are done with the watering as well as the cinnamon uh, powder has got into the soil the cinnamon water has got into the soil it is going to be around the root area and in this way if there is any fungus any mold or anything in the soil it will start getting destroyed with the help of cinnamon powder as we all know cinnamon powder has a lot of antifungal properties so it also tends to fight against fungus mold and it also keeps insects and bugs away from the soil again it's not 100 percent at times they will still come so a precautionary method you have to do is just sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the soil uh, remember guys there is no permanent solution to mealy bugs or any insect uh, they will come in and go out this is what it happens in a garden you can never have a garden you will never have basically you're not going to have a successful garden if there are no insects and pests in a garden because that is the part of uh, the ecosystem that is the part of your garden you will have uh, insects no matter what the only thing that we have to remember is we need to control uh, the growth or uh, we need to control their population we do not want them to be in excess in our pots that's wherein they start causing issue but if you have a one or two you can just take a stick and just try to poke them off so if you find one or two mealybugs don't take out your neem oil or do not take your uh, those strong pesticides and start spraying it if you have one mealybug or two just take a pin or a stick and just try to poke them out uh, and you can go with this uh, method because if you're going to spray those strong pesticides or insecticides on just for one mealybug you're going to damage the succulent the mealybug is going to get killed but even you're going to damage your succulent as well so it's always better to just you know go for this organic way or a natural way wherein it doesn't harm your succulent at the same time it tends to help your succulent as well so guys after 30 to 40 minutes later uh, you can see uh, i have blown off all the cinnamon powder probably some cinnamon powder might have fallen on the soil but it's absolutely fine i took it away from the garden and blew off all of the uh, cinnamon powder with the help of this uh, succulent blower and you can see it's much better now uh, now again this is not 100 percent it's not that okay we are completely gone with uh, mealy bugs now they'll never ever come back now that we have taken care of the mealy bugs on the crown area i'm just gonna spread some cinnamon powder around the soil as well just for precaution and uh, we are good to go now after this if you want to water it 
if you want to water your succulents with a little bit more of water you can do that the cinnamon powder will get into the soil so in this way this is like a quick uh, fix to those mealy bugs again depends upon how much of infestation uh, is there on your succulent you can see on this the infestation was not much it was mostly around the uh, bloom area but now uh, the bloom area is clear any which ways as and when the bloom tends to grow little longer i'm going to cut it off because i do not want to uh, i do not want the succulent to get affected again uh, but this succulent is slowly recovering it had a little bit of issues little bit of burns here and there and now the succulent is recovering uh, and how do i know that is because uh, you can see the crown area a lot of new growth and it's doing extremely well so in this way i tend to uh, clean my succulents and I take care of the mealy bugs. I'm not very worried about mealy bugs. Whenever I tend to see some situation like this, I just go ahead and sprinkle some cinnamon powder on that. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.